Right friends, welcome back to fifth module. This we are going to deliberate on HCF and LCM, highest common factor and least common multiple. And before going into it, I have taken once again factors for numbers 1 to 20. You may feel bored, but I would like you to concentrate on factors because this is the basic knowledge which is very much essential to understand mathematics and factors for 1, just 1, for 2, 1 and 2, 3, 1, 3 like that. I have already told you the number which has got only 2 factors is the prime number the number which has got more than two factors is composite number that is the one side of the story. The other side is I have highlighted only one here to indicate you the point that the least factor for any number is one and I highlighted numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 only to make sure that you understand that the highest factor is that number itself. So, let me recapitulate for any number the least factor is 1, the highest factor is that number itself. Third important point is number of factors for any number are fixed, right. Having learned this, let us move on to multiples. I have listed out multiples from numbers 1 to 10 and I highlighted the first numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. At the same time, I highlighted infinity. So, what I mean to convey is the least multiple for any number is that number itself. The highest multiple is infinity and the total number of multiples for any number cannot be found or what I mean to say is there are infinite multiples for any number. So, having learned these things, let us move on to common factors to arrive at the highest common factor. So, let us take first example. I have taken two numbers 12 and 18. Let us write factors for 12. The factors for 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. Similarly, let us write the factors for 18. Factors for 18 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18. We have written factors for 12 as well as 18 and please look into this. There are some common factors for these two numbers. The common factors are 1, 2, 3, 6, right? The common factors are 1, 2, 3, 6 and most important aspect is the least common factor is 1, always 1. So, it has got no significance. If you take two or more numbers, the least common factor is always one. That is why it has got no significance. We have just now seen common factors are 1, 2, 3, 6. And out of these common factors, the highest common factor is having significance that is a 6. So, People talk about HCF quite often. HCF is nothing but the highest common factor. We have learnt about the factors. We have learnt about the common factors when two numbers are taken. After that, the highest common factor will come into picture. So, highest common factor is a 6 in this case. So, if two or more numbers are given, you can find highest common factor which has got lot of significance. We will learn what is the significance under quantitative aptitude. For the time being, please understand highest common factor has got significance. Let us take one more example, 2436. 24 factors I have written here. The factors for 24 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 24. Factors for 36, 36 has got total 9 factors. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, 36. So, I have written factors for 2 numbers and 
common factors let us take for 24 and 36 common factors are 1 2 3 4 6 12 as usual least common factor is 1 it has got no significance and highest among the common factors is 12 so the highest common factor for 24 and 36 is 12 highest common factor has got relevance. So, HCF for 24-36 is 12. And let us take two more examples. Example 3, I have taken prime numbers deliberately. I have taken prime numbers. 7 and 11 are prime numbers. 23 and 29 are prime numbers. If you take prime numbers, let us see what are the factors, what are the common factors, what is least common factor, what is highest common factor. If you take two prime numbers, 7 and 11, let us take for example, it has got 1 and 7 as factors. 11, it has got 1 and 11 as factors. So, if you take two two numbers which are prime numbers, the common factor is only 1, the least common factor is 1 itself, the highest common factor is 1 itself because there is only one common factor for two prime numbers. Similarly, if you take 23 and 29, the factors are 123, 129. The common factor is just one, whether you call it the least common factor or highest common factor, it is one only. So, HCF has got no significance. If you take two prime numbers, two prime numbers, HCF is one always. So, for two prime numbers, highest common factor is only one because the common factor for prime numbers is only one. No other common factor they will have. Right? So, this is all about factors, common factors and highest common factor. So, we have started from factors, then we came to common factors, then we arrived at highest common factor or HCF. Similarly, let us look at multiples. All of you are familiar with multiples. I have taken two numbers here. The two numbers are 6 and 9. The multiples for 6, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, like that it will go on up to infinity. If you take 9, 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, it will go on up to infinity. And here, Common multiples are, you can list out only few common multiples because common multiples will go on indefinitely. Multiples will go on indefinitely. Common multiples will also go on indefinitely. So, you cannot take several common multiples. You can take only few common multiples and the common multiples are 18, 36, 54, like that they will go on increasing. And if someone talks about the highest common multiple, you cannot find. Highest common multiple, no one can find. And only relevant multiple is least common multiple or LCM that is 18. So, what I mean to tell you is, after writing multiples, multiples also, you can write only up to some extent. In contrast, please look into the previous slide of 24 and 36. For 24 and 36, when we are finding factors, we have written all the factors because factors are finite, fixed. But in this case, when we are taking 6 and 9, we can write multiples only up to some extent because multiples are infinite. They go on continuously. They will extend continuously up to infinite. So, you cannot write all the multiples. Only you can write few multiples. After writing few multiples, then you have to find common multiples. In this case, common multiples are 18, 36, 54. And out of common multiples, what is significant is least common multiple, which is 18. So, LCM is 18 here. Highest common multiple, you cannot find. Right? 
similarly let us take one more example 1824 i have written multiples here for 18 18 36 54 72 90 108 120 so like that they go on up to infinity similarly for 24 24 48 72 96 120 144 168 they go on up to infinity and what is important is common multiples common multiples also you can write only up to some extent i have taken two common multiples 72 and 144 as i have already told you highest common multiple cannot be found and only we can find is least common multiple or lcm lcm is 72 in this case so most important aspect is you can find highest common factor because least common factor is always one and you can find least common multiple because the highest common multiple cannot be found out right so let us take one more example i have taken two prime numbers here two prime numbers 5 and 7 i have written multiples here 5 10 15 20 like that they go on up to infinity if you take 7 7 14 21 28 35 5, they go on up to infinity and here common multiples are 35 70 highest common multiple you cannot find and least common multiple or lcm is 35 and interesting aspect is the lcm is multiplication of two prime numbers when someone asks you to find out lcm of two prime numbers simply multiply them that is lcm and if someone talks about finding hcf of two prime numbers answer is 1 right so like that hcf lcm are arrived at so this is the theory behind the lcm as well as hcf they are very very important in mathematics first came factors common factors highest common factor similarly you should understand multiples common multiples least common multiple right so this is the way of understanding lcm and hcf now you are clear why i am insisting several times on knowing about factors and multiples right friends with this let us conclude the fifth module please do join for sixth module right friends have a nice day thank you